Joan Merklek. I come from Turkey. I live in Istanbul. I write mainly novels, fiction. I have a book of uh, short story collections and I uh, translate uh, a few books from the world literature. I've just had a uh, session at a school of uh, studies about tourism uh, with young students, which is a first time experience for me as a writer to talk to the students. You feel from people's looks, even from their shyness, you get an idea about what is going on inside their minds, in which, which they can, what they cannot express and take them out. So uh, that is also uh, good in terms of getting an idea about the city, about the local people living there. My impression is that they have very uh, rich fantasies, very strong maybe imagination, which struggles to, to be fulfilled and to come out in very diverse manners to amaze many people because uh, I, I know that kind of person. I have been in that age. I have been through those stages and I can feel what they feel because it's like what I was like in that age. Just uh, carrying so many things inside you and I hope when they are my age they can uh, fulfill all of those dreams which they cannot express openly and satisfy their uh, needs and dreams. Um, so my name is Jessica Filero. Um, I'm a novelist, uh, but I also write uh, essays, do a bit of travel writing, uh, a little bit of poetry. I'm from Goa, uh, on the west coast of India originally, and Goa has a lot of similarities to Macau because we were also a uh, co uh, a Portuguese colony for about 450 years until 1961. Uh, that that was about 120 people. There was a good audience and a good mix of students and we really got into talking about uh, how literature and culture relate to each other and how you can travel to a place while just sitting in your armchair and reading a book um, and what that can look like. But we ended up talking um, about what it's like to be a writer and whether you feel a sense of mission when you're a writer and I think those were interesting things because whenever people ask these questions sometimes it's the first time an author is compelled to think well I never consciously thought about that that's interesting and you actually find yourself learning more about who you are as an author and that's what I really appreciate about these things I'm a fiction writer um, who's written two books in the United States uh, um, and the UK called Drifting House and How I Became a North Korean. I live and I teach at a university in South Korea called Underwood International College within Yonsei University and Seoul, Korea is my home. This is really my first proper stay in Macau and it's been an interesting experience meeting uh, my first uh, students here um, and to consider the possible similarities and differences uh, between the students I teach at uh, uh, Yonsei and uh, the students here. I had a QA, and a a conversation with the students about both writing uh, South Korea and North Korea, about process, and uh, I, I hope um, uh, the, the students walked out feeling at least just a tiny bit more hopeful about their own writing or to think about the seeds that are growing in their own work as well. As writing is everywhere, it starts, it starts here at universities.